Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Control, and yeah, things are getting a little bit dicey. Music's getting bassier. Corpse spider things are screaming at me. Bradwin is still here. I think? Yes. <laughs> yes I, I am still here despite um despite being, you know, dropped into the void. Um Oh now I feel guilty. Je Jesse Jesse realizes that um that I was actually here all along. <laughs> Oh, uh, so now, oh, that's right. You, that we, we had the thing, you're Polaris in this. Something. Okay, what am I looking for? Other than flying corpse spider things. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Speaking of big damn Dumbo thing. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Where is the bloody invisible thing? It keeps popping out right on top of me. Which I guess is how invisible things do. I mean, it's kind of their whole hunting strategy, right? Yep. Okay. Looking for a visual distortion somewhere. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be cool. Huh? I'm not going to be too good for you on this one because my screen is a bit pixelated, so... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. You're the last one left. Where are you? Yep. 
Undefined well Reedy. Done. Huh? Well done. Thank you. Oh, damn, it exploded on me when I pulled it over. <laughs> okay, music just hit a low. A low. Low. That thing's... Huh? Yep, and there you go. Yep, that thing's further away. It was right on top of me. You're not, she's not the one asleep, Dylan. You are. And you're in a nightmare, not a dream. Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You. And I. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we have some side stuff left yes. and DLC material. Yep. Good story. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. Audie. Yeah, Audie's great. I, I like that. I knew I picked a good assistant. That was so good. Mm -hmm. And you, it's difficult, but you still feel just overwhelmingly possible, uh, powerful. You, you are a powerhouse as you get to the end of this. And, yep. and I like how they, they start doing things that used to be, used to be bosses, start showing up as mini, as, um, com, as medium enemies. Yeah. <sighs> hey, I don't think we ever saw, um, his face again from the from dead letters oh that guy yeah he ran away yeah I'm, he climbed up into that section yeah I wonder if he was one of the nameless ones we fought mm. Is it re... 
I don't think it's... It, no, no, because it says speed up or skip, so it's not going to re recycle. Just the starring section keeps happening over and over. Yes, because it's different things. Um, right, and and uh, it's like the uh, this is the Alan Wake expansion thing. This is what's going on. Got it. So we've got vampire vamp we got some more side work in this and we're I'm watching you do vampire to fill in af, at the end of Call of the Sea. I have to make a decision on what else to put in the spooky Friday slot. Could be spooky Friday or probably not spooky enough. I mean, the first of the Spooky Friday things, Freaky Friday, whatever one, I've never really set a name for it. It's just like I did um, Wasted Lands, Call of Cthulhu Wasted Lands, which was just a joke. <laughs> so I've been using it for things that are range from horror to making parodies of horror. So, yeah. Well, Code Code Vein is a uh, Souls-like with vampires and an anime style, mm -hmm. and has some um, some actual scares, like with, you know, with enemies right. suddenly appearing on you and mm -hmm. all of that sort of stuff. The way Dark Souls likes to. Right. I might, however, do something that is more. Um... Uh, g give myself a break from the action for a moment. I think I have unavowed. Oh, okay. So that'll be interesting. Unavowed. It's kind of a point and click adventure game, which means it will drive me insane. <laughs> but I've heard it's very good. You've gotten very quiet suddenly, actually. Sorry, because I'm looking slightly away from the microphone to pick that feed. Hmm. I also have a turn-based uh, Call of Cthulhu, like World War II Cthulhu game. Octum Cthulhu. Ooh. Didn't you play that before, or something similar? I've, pl I mean, I did, like I said, Call of Cthulhu Wasted Lands, which was World War One, and it uh, was completely ridiculous because I killed a star spawn with a shovel. Yes, I remember that. Um, it, it's why I, I joke about the shovel being the ultimate weapon in a Call of Cthulhu game. Oh yes, no, just don't even bother with the dynamite. <laughs> Yep. I'm thinking, um, so either Unavowed, which I've had for a while and wanted to try for this kind of thing, or the Octung Call of Cthulhu thing, which is kind of XCOM-ish yep. and based off a tabletop World War II Cthulhu thing that's supposed to be pretty mm. good. I did a some did the tutorial well back and it is definitely not wasted lands <laughs> yeah i don't know how right it'll get the cthulhu stuff but it is definitely not wasted lands oh hello uh you director's outfit oh i actually like the director's outfit it's very nice i love the cutout triangles on her lip, um, lapels 
Yeah, I do too. I mean, um, I mean, I still like the the Civi version, but I'm gonna. I think I'll do this. This this feels like a natural progression. Mm -hmm. uh, to fight the ongoing hiss threat, search the dangerous depths of the oldest house. Okay. What's this way? Uh, that's the uh, Shawshank Redemption. Quick way. That's the name <laughs> of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Oh my God, Jesse! But that was it. How long ago was that? It's like near the beginning of the story. I can't even remember it. That's my thought. That's my kind of thought processes, though. Okay, so this is the short way to what? Uh, this is the short way to um, the the hub. I can't remember what it was called. Um, uh, Central Executive. Yeah. I believe. Talk to the board, the hotline chamber. Let me see. I'm going the wrong way, so. All right. This is the hotline chamber. Yep. I love Jesse. Shh. <laughs> yes. I totally do that kind Even of thing all the dream. time. I feel Darwin reached out to me through the hotline. Yeah, I, I th Yeah, I think Darlene's kind of gone one way or another. Uh-oh, in the foundation. We demand your attention, Moxie. Hurry, post haste. Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Okay. There's a very Illuminati look to her. Oh, yes. Okay. Their central executive is going to be this way. Mm. Sorry, yes, that's from the mail room to... Jesse Faden, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it. But you always knew where we were headed. Yep. I think let's see here, central executive. I, yeah. What? I tell you what I tell you what, um trying to hire new people is going to be a real pain. Yeah. It every time yeah, they come in and there's floating the employees chanting ominous whispers. I mean we can't even get let them in until that's dealt with. Six. Hmm. Just just wreck all of my um, silliness. Just, <laughs> just step right on it, Thrift. I mean, you know I end up getting literals minded sometimes. Oh my goodness. That's maxed. That's maxed. That's maxed. It looks like I'm heading down the flight path next. You're heading down the flight path. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, let's see if there's anything I can do with the astral constructs. I can upgrade charge. And that is it. Okay, can I do anything here? This is random mods. Can I upgrade construct levels? I don't think I can. Because I'm missing fat fragments. Okay. Find the door. Oh my goodness. So many suits. I mean, this is nice. It just doesn't feel like Jesse. Understood. That's good. But I'm going to stick with the director's suit for post main game. Mm -hmm. Huh. 
Shield boost. Absolute shield boost. Okay. Okay, find the door in the maintenance restricted area. And... There, there should be a... Um... It's right there. It's in yeah, the black there's... rock quarry. There should be a thing right to the um, uh, right to the foundation, though, just underneath. No, directly underneath the quarry. Uh huh. See foundation. Oh, oh yeah. That's right, because we were there earlier. Yes. Uh, okay. Listen for them to determine their location to deal damage to force them out of hiding, or wait Trans for them to attack you. Transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. And so that edgy is the door. Yep. Okay. And let's try opening it. It's the end of the video, and I'm going to check to see how many we have running. Mm-hmm.